Hey bitches, it's Merrick back with another episode of Gay Guy Eats and today on the menu is Italian food. So I'll just show you guys what I'm having to eat today. Ooh, I'm a little bit nervous filming this for some reason. <clears throat> okay, so inside this brown paper bag, we have another white plastic bag. Uh, and then we also have my receipt that I ordered from uh, I'm still not sure if I'm going to do this as like a one take without any editing at all. But um, I'm rambling right now. I'm sure you guys just want to see the food. So um, I'll start with this one. Okay, so inside this one, we have... Do, 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 do. Why do they tie the knot so tight? Ugh. First world problems, right? Do, do, do. Okay, so we have a box inside here. And I have some Caesar salad. And then we also have some bread. This bread was complimentary. Um, very peasant-like bread. And then we also have some cutlery, napkins. And of course the best part to bread is the butter. Bread and butter, baby. Because without bread and butter, what are you in life? Wow, that was like a very lame joke. Uh, okay, some more cutlery, and one more butter. Okay, so that's it for this bag. Moving on to the second bag now. By the way, if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Merrick, and I make mukbang and eating show videos. Um, I hope you do subscribe to my channel, if you do enjoy this. I try to, um, keep a fine balance between talking and letting the audience kind of, like, hear me eat and, like, actually chew the food. Because I know, like, everyone has, like, different preferences. Some people love to, like, just listen to someone, like, someone eat. And some people like conversation as well. So inside this other bag, we have... Ooh, we have, like, two boxes. We have one here. Are these called boxes? I'm not sure. Like, cartons. Like, tin foil cartons. And another carton. So inside this one... We have, I already know what's inside it. I don't know why I'm trying to pretend that like it's like a surprise for me. Like I'm the one who ordered like the meal. So like I know what's inside everything. But for you guys, I'm trying to make it like a surprise. What is inside this one? Can you guys guess? Ooh, oh snap, it's garlic bread. Ooh, is it in focus? Oh, it's not in focus because like the camera's always focusing on my face. Like obviously, like who would you focus on? This gorgeous face or garlic bread? Um, so yeah, we have garlic bread here. Um, actually, backstory behind the garlic bread, um, they told me there's, like, complimentary bread included with, like, the meal, but, like, I want garlic bread because, like, I thought it would be, like, more Italian stuff, so I had to order this extra. It was only a dollar, so, like, it wasn't too bad. And then for, like, the main feast, we have... Sorry, I'm still opening this. This is, like, real time, as you can see, folks. Uh, inside the main one we have the pasta. Yum, yum, yum. So I'm trying to find a place to like, put this. But yeah, this is how the pasta looks like. Ooh, I hope it's in focus. Is it in focus? Okay. Ah, that looks pretty good. Um, it looks a little bit dried out because like I had to dry for like 20 minutes to like get this meal. So hopefully when I put it on my plate, it's not too bad. But yeah, that is the pasta. If you guys are wondering what kind of pasta is this, the name is called Supremo. And hold on, give me a second. I actually have my computer right here. It says Supremo has scallops, smoked salmon, curry, cream, garlic, and parmesan sauce. So, um... I really like this because it's kind of like an Indian pasta in a way because like there's like this Indian fusion flavor from the curry and like the smoked salmon and like the scallop goes so well with this. But enough of me talking, I'm going to start eating. Before I start eating, I'm just going to pause the video for a second because I need a thumbnail shot for this. So I'll be back in a jiffy. Alrighty, I am back. All I did was just like transfer the pasta onto a plate so it looks nice for the thumbnail. And I also microwaved the pasta because like I said, it was like a 20 minute drive and by the time I got home, it was so, so cold. So what should I eat first? I think, um, I think I'm just gonna eat the pasta first. Like I wanna take a bite into it and see like how it tastes. Let me just like grab my phone so you guys can hear like a close up sound of like the pasta noises. Mm, it's real good. Mm. It's actually really good. Mm -mm -mm. Very yummy. Mm -hmm -hmm. And I took another bite actually. Mm. 
Hmm. Okay. I need to like mix my salad now. Okay. I'm gonna move this aside. Put this right here. Swap it. Um, here are the peasant breads. Okay, these are like the peasant ones. And this is like the fancy shit right here. This is the garlic one. This is the bougie one. Here's the peasant. But honestly, they're probably exactly the same. Okay, so this is the Caesar salad dressing that I'm going to put on. Just drizzle that shit on there, man. <laughs> I'm not sure if people like watching mukbangs like real time or do they like it edited. Because like if I actually post this real time, I think it's going to take me like 30 to 40 minutes to like eat this entire meal. And I'm not sure if people are willing to watch for that long. So I'm really like anal like when it comes to sauces or containers in general because I want to like scoop out all the sauce. Like um, even though like you know there's like still some left. Like if you get a spoon you can get all the sauce out. It's like the inner Asian in me I swear. Like I want that value man. I want that value. I paid for this. I am not going to waste the sauce. Okay, this must be like annoying you guys. <laughs> How much time I'm spending on trying to dig up the sauce. Okay, whatever. Screw it. Okay. Uh, mixing the salad. Caesar salad is actually, I think it's, yeah, I would say it's my, my favorite salad. Do you guys have a favorite salad? I feel like throughout this entire mukbang, I'll be asking for your like opinion and participation a lot. Because, like, usually I don't have one-way conversations for a prolonged period of time. Like, usually, if it's, like, a regular video, I have, like, pauses where, like, I film a certain clip and then I stop and I move on to the next one. But for mukbangs, it's a continuous one-way conversation. So, my question, my first question of this video is, what is your favorite type of salad? I would say Caesar salad is actually my favorite type of salad. My second favorite is probably like a Thai noodle salad, like sweet and spicy and sour. Those are really good. But yeah, this is how it looks like. Sorry, if you see me like look off into the distance, it's cause like I have a laptop right there and like the laptop just like blows everything onto a big screen so I can see what you guys are seeing right now. But yeah, this is the Caesar salad. I wanna like show you guys close up, but it doesn't focus. Like let me try to manually focus for you. Okay, hold on. There we go, that's the Caesar salad. Now to make sure that I am focused again. Am I focused? I hope I am focused. See, this is like the problem with like focusing stuff. Okay, I'm actually gonna stop the video because I'm very anal with like focusing. Um, I need to like get the focus like, like on track before I can continue or else I don't want this entire like mukbang to be all blurry. Okay, I am back. I just fixed the focusing. And now I'm just going to take some bites into my Caesar salad. Oh, I should uh, grab my mic so you guys can hear the um, crunching sounds of the lettuce. I'm not going to lie, um, my homemade my homemade Caesar salad dressing is way better than this. But um, for the sake of convenience, I did not want to um, spend half an hour making Caesar salad dressing from scratch. Just because um, I've been working all day. Like, I've been filming so many videos. I've been, like, replying to emails and stuff. I just wanted to, like, go there and be like, okay, I'll pay the extra two ninety nine when um When in my groceries or my supermarket, I can get a whole, like, um, lettuce or a whole, like, romaine lettuce, like those like lettuce thingies, like those, I don't even know what you call it, screw it. Um, I can buy a whole piece of lettuce for two ninety nine, and that would make like, mm, that would make like four or five salads the size of this. Does that make any sense at all? Basically my point is I was lazy. So I paid a lot of money, so I did not have to waste time and effort to make my own Caesar salad. But my own Caesar salad dressing is way better than this kind of dressing. Um. Mm. I really like filming mukbangs. I really do. Mmm. A reason why I really like filling mukbangs is because like I feel less pressured. 
And when I feel less pressured, I just perform better on camera. I'm not that I'm performing right now. Could you, could you imagine if this like, whole thing was fake? This was a setup? Like, oh my gosh, Merrick really doesn't actually like to talk. Merrick actually doesn't like to eat. This is all for views. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's fairly low pressure. Because compared to regular, regular videos, I have to plan a lot more. I don't script everything, but I have like bullet points of things to talk about. Speaking of which, I actually have a piece of paper for things of topics I can talk about in case I run out of ideas throughout this mukbang because I don't want it to be like pure silence. <laughs> I don't know why I keep wiping my mouth. Like, I'm going to take another bite into a salad anyways, like, why am I wiping it? Actually, I'm going to switch to bread now. Let's switch to bread. Okay, you know what I should do? I should, like, compare the peasant bread to the, what's that term called? Peasant bread, peasant bread, and bougie bread, yes. I should compare those two. Let me just, like, put the pasta right here so you guys can maybe see it better. There we go. Um, okay, so let's go with the peasant bread first, because I'm a peasant, so. Uh, oh no, I forgot to like bring a knife, crap. Okay, just kidding. There is a cutlery thingy. Okay, so the knife. And then just gonna take some whipped butter, not just regular butter, it's whipped bitch. Um, don't you love it? I mean, don't you love that word? I'm like, what do, what do I love? Don't you love that word? Bitch. It's like my favorite word in the English dictionary. I tell everybody that. Ever since, like, I was, like, 13 or 12, um, uh, bitch has always been my favorite word. I don't know, it's just, like, it rolls off my tongue so easily. I talked about this in, like, past videos. I think, like, if I filmed it, like, one year ago, but I, like... I used to, yeah, I don't really have, like, insecurity issues about this anymore, but, like, I used to have a lot of insecurities with, um, pronouncing things because, like, I always run over words, I always stutter and stuff, I can never pronounce things, like, correctly, but now, I don't give a fuck. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, it's very peasant, peasant tasting, very peasanty. <laughs> There's not much flavor to it. Maybe it's because, like, I had, like, a pasta and, like, Caesar salad. That's why this tastes so bland to me. We'll fix that by putting more butter. Because you know what? Putting more fat on food makes it taste better. It does. Not that it's healthy for you, but just the, just the truth. Look, look at the fat. I want to show you close up, but it's not going to focus, and I don't want to um, focus it and then, like, stop the video and, like, focus, like, on my face again, because, like, that is too much work. But I'll try my very best. Um, it's kind of focused right here. Hmm. I'm, like, watching myself on camera right now. I'm eating with my mouth open. I'm kind of doing it on purpose, kind of not. Like, I know with mukbang, a lot of people like to see the broadcaster eat with their mouth open. I kind of do that, like, I do that subconsciously when I'm at home, eating at home when no one's watching me. But when I'm, like, out dining with my friends or family or in a fancy restaurant, I obviously eat with my mouth closed. Can I just say something really quickly? Mmm. Ooh. I don't, know what, I don't know what I want to do first. I want to say this point. But I also want to take a sip of water. Okay, I'll say this really quickly. Um, Charles Goss, Gross. I watch Charles Gross. If you don't know who he is, he like makes daily vlogs about his life. His life revolves around two things. Sex and luxury shopping. Like literally, he just buys Birkins from like Hermes or Hermes all the time. And he like fucks every second day, maybe like twice a day. But anyhow, Charles Gross mm, tried making a mukbang video and the entire video he was like covering his mouth when he was like chewing because like obviously that's the, that's the polite thing to do in public. But like people are like say like, oh my gosh, like Charles Gross, like you would be like the worst mukbanger because like no one can like see you chew your food. Anyways, onto the water. So here's my cup. I am just drinking water because um, I've said this in a couple of videos, but I actually don't 
like carbonated drinks. I don't like sugary drinks. The only sugary drink I like is bubble tea. I also don't like alcoholic drinks. Um, not that I'm allergic to alcohol, but I do get the Asian flush. I just choose not to drink alcohol. Mm, first of all, actually, no, not first of all. There's only one reason why I don't drink alcohol. It's because um, it's expensive. Like, the amount of money I spend on um, downing booze, I can spend on all this food. Or like bubble tea, or like uh, cake or something. Okay, anyways, I tried the peasant bread. The peasant bread was very bland. Let's do the garlic one now. It's a little bit better. Not a whole lot better though. Just being real. Um, I would say this is cold, but like when it was like fresh out of the oven, if I was dining in the restaurant, this would probably be better. Like it's like soggy on the top. All they took was just like a garlic, um, a garlic dressing or a garlic paste or a, a garlic dip, and they just like spider that onto the bread. Um, I'm not impressed, but it's food. Food's food. And also, I just want to take the time to say in this video, I am so privileged and blessed to like be eating this meal right now. Um, I know a lot of people in the world like they don't have a lot of food to eat, and um. I'm just like very privileged. I just want to say that right now. Get that off my chest or off my back. I don't know what to say. If you've been watching my YouTube channel for a long time, I butcher sayings all the time. Like common sayings, I butcher it. Like that's like my specialty in life. That's my like talent. Okay. We're going back to the pasta. Biatches. Hmm. <laughs> I'm like watching the time. Um, I'll explain in a second. Mm. I'm watching the time because like in my last mukbang, me and my friend Lydia, we were talking so much that we didn't even hear the camera stop. Because with the camera and the cut type of memory card, it stops every 12 minutes and like we were just like chatting and chatting away. Um, our mukbang ended up being 40 minutes long. But we only recorded 12 minutes of it because like we didn't hear, like we didn't hear the camera shut off. So like I didn't like press record again. That's why, that's why I'm so anal about like looking at the time. So I'm just trying to position my stuff so like maybe I can get a good action shot for my thumbnail. Like these are the thoughts that goes through like a lot of YouTubers' brains. It's like, oh, how do I position stuff like for a candid natural shot for thumb for the thumbnail? Do you guys think I can like eat all this? Actually, I'm just gonna say right now, I know I can't eat all this. Um, hold, I'll explain why. Mmm, got a lot of sauce on my mouth. And not the sauce I like. No, I'm just kidding. If you understood that, you are very dirty minded. I might pull the mic a little bit closer to me, like my phone, so, I, so you guys can hear me better. Um, I don't actually eat that much. I feel like I always do. I'm one of those people who like eat a lot, but like never gain weight. And like some people hate me for it, but like, I, so I'm just like trying to find like a very good like balance between talking and eating. So like that's why I'm cut it, cutting off midway through my sentence. Mm. Some people are so jealous of me. And like my friend was like, oh my gosh, you would be like the perfect mukbanger. You should make it, you should make an eating channel and stuff. But like. Obviously, like, I'm, like, I don't want to say I'm blessed, but, like, there are downfalls to, like, eating a lot and not getting weight. Because, like, I want to gain muscle. I want to be ripped. I want to get a beach body, but I can't. Because, like, I can never gain mass on myself. Like, if I go to a buffet, like, an all-you-can-eat sushi buffet, one time I went, I weighed myself beforehand. I went to the all-you-can-eat sushi buffet, went back home, went to my washroom, stepped on my scale, and I lost two pounds. Like, WTF. I actually, mm, 
I actually didn't eat all day long because, um, not that I wanted to starve myself, but, like, I wanted to, like, eat all three meals into, like, one meal so I can eat a lot on camera. Obviously, that's not healthy at all. I do not, like, promote that, but you know what? Stop judging me, honey. Like, sit down, girl. Mm-mm-mm. But my guess is I'm going to be able to finish like the salad and then like probably all the pasta but not the bread because bread is really filling. Mm. Usually, <clears throat> sorry, literally choking on my pasta. That would go viral. Like someone, like, can you, could you imagine like someone not dying but like just being hospital hospitalized or like fainting on camera while they're eating food and they were an eating channel. Does that make any sense? Sorry. I had like very like contrived, mean, hurtful, hurtful, hurtful thoughts. <laughs> like I said, I'm not the best with pronunciation. Mmm, that was a good thumbnail shot. Right there. Mm-mm-mm. Mmm. I actually brought my pepper shaker, so I'm just gonna add some more pepper onto this because I love pepper. You know, I'm not gonna like, um, tip someone like three, four, five dollars where I can go home and like use my own pepper shaker. Like this, this service right here was probably like $1.99 at a restaurant. That would have cost me $1.99 in tips. And I'm too cheap for that, honey. Okay, I'm switching to the salad, woo! Okay, uh, I wanna get talking, or get, get, yeah, get talking about like some of these topics on my list. Mm. Sorry, I'm burping. Um, is that really gross for mukbang? Whew, okay. Back to the salad, bitches. How do I position this so it looks nice? Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna eat. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I'm hungry. Um, okay. Let's pick a topic. So, so far, I've asked you guys one question. What's your favorite salad? Mm hmm. Let's do, um... Let's do... Oh, I don't want to talk about this because, like, it's kind of controversial, but I have it on my list. It's, like, actually number five on my list, and it's number five on my list, and I only have five things to talk about. So when I was making this, when I was making that list, literally, I am dying right now. I cannot talk. Um, I was, I was like, oh my gosh, like, if I run out of things to talk about, like, I'll fine, I'll talk about number five. But, like, I prefer not to just because it's, like, I don't want to, like, step on anyone's toes. But like, I kind of want to talk about it right now. Mmm. Okay. Basically, number five, the topic is the United States, USA, United States of, United States of America. Yes, I was like, what does it stand for? The U.S. election. Who are you voting for? Question two. If you are of age, if you can vote, if you live in America, and you're watching this, please let me know who you're voting for. Trump or Clinton? And, like, I feel like a lot of YouTubers, they're, like, non-partisan because, like, their networks tell them not to, like, oh my gosh, you should, don't choose a side because, like, um, that'll, like, uh, um, alienate your audiences or, like, potential, um, target market and stuff. Just, like, a lot of business terms, a lot of jargon that, uh, marketers use. I'm a marketer. Like, I went to university for marketing so I actually know what I'm talking about but um yeah who are you guys voting for I'm just gonna tell you guys who like like first of all I don't like I don't like either kind of candidates and thank god I live in Canada so I don't even have this choice I'm so happy that like I am not in the states right now but, like, if I had to choose between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, obviously, 
I would choose Trump. Just kidding, just kidding. Who actually thought I was going to vote for Trump? Who actually thought I was going to vote for Trump? Obviously, Clinton. It's such an easy um, answer for me. Or it's such an easy, like, it's like the rationale behind it is so easy. Basically, a big part of who I am is my sexual orientation. And Trump is against my sexual orientation, which means that he is against a big part of who I am, which means he, he is against me. And why would I vote for someone who is against me? Pretty simple logic. Mm -mm -mm. But like, I don't know. There's, th there's things I don't like about Hillary as well. But let's just put it this way. At least Hillary looks like a politician, okay? At least she acts like one. <laughs> At least she sounds like one. Like, fake it till you make it. Whatever. Like, Trump is not even faking it till he makes it. Like, he's just like... He's like me. It's like if I ran for prime minister in Canada, it's like this hot mess on stage just like talking shit about anything I want. Like, no. Just no. Just no. I, that's like how I'm going to end this topic. Just no. Say no to Trump. Say no to Trump. Say no to drugs. Say no to Molly. Say no to ecstasy. Say no to Trump. Pass the time. Mm, I'm getting a little bit full. Like, I would say I'm like 60% full or 55% full. And like, obviously I'm not going to force myself to like eat, like finish the meal for the sake of a YouTube video. I'm like, who would do that? I know so many, I know so many people who would. They would do it for the views and subscribers and then they would, um, Actually, I'm not going to say my next sentence or train of thought because I do not want to offend anybody out there and, like, have people attacking me. Mm -mm -mm. Did I only finish half of a plate? Why do I have so much left? Mmm, smoked salmon. The best part. Also, the thing that is, like, worth the most on this, like, entire eating show. You gotta know the value of stuff, man. Um, I'm just sharing some, like, Asian tips with you, with my viewers right now. Like, say, you're looking at a pasta, and, like, the pasta has chicken, and another pasta has salmon, and they're both the same price. Pick the salmon one. <laughs> Do not pick the chicken one. That's bad value. I sound like my dad right now. That's what he always tells me. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, I don't like the bread, so I don't think I'm going to eat it. I mean, not, I'm not going to eat it on camera. I'll probably eat it tomorrow for lunch, like a sandwich or something. Um, ooh, okay. First thing on my list to talk about. <coughs> wow, I choke so much on camera. Uh, first thing to talk about on my list. My day. How's my, how's my day? My day... Oh wow, I'm so like, conceited, I'm so arrogant. Did I really just ask myself how my own day was? <laughs> Ugh, girl. Mm. How was my day? My day was kind of busy. Okay. Mm. I can talk on and on about this, like this could go on forever, but like, I'll try to like kind of um, condense it as concise as possible. Basically, my definition of busy or my feeling of busyness is like someone's like laziest day. It's like, I'm someone who gets, um, who gets overwhelmed easily by small stimuli, so like me going to Walmart to like buy bananas and strawberries is like, it's a, it's a task for me. Like, I would consider that as like my daily task. It's like, okay, I went out today. Um, yes, like that's what I did today. Okay, that's good. But if you ask me to do three things, like, okay, go to Walmart to get groceries and then go get gas and then I need to go get a haircut, that would start overwhelming me and I would consider that as busy. Like, I feel like that's what people would consider that as like lazy, like a lazy day. I say, oh, I'll go like do my chores, go get groceries, go get a haircut, go get gas. It's like my day off, whatever. But like, I know people who work full time, it's like they work nine to five and then afterwards they still have to do that. Like, 
I could never survive with a real job. Mm -mm -mm. Like, I just couldn't. Mm. There's so much sauce. So There's so much sauce on my lips right now. Mm. Okay, but I'll talk about what I actually did today. So I woke up really early, and by really early, I mean one thirty in the afternoon. Okay, I usually wake up at four p.m., so one thirty is like really good for me. Okay, um, I actually dropped my parents off to the airport because they're going on vacation. Mm. They're going on vacation, so I dropped them, dropped them off in the airport. And then I had to go downtown to like uh, drop off something for like a project I'm doing. Mm. I can't wait to tell you guys why I dropped off in downtown. I feel like I'm just like building suspense into like my stories. I'll just tell you guys. Um, I won't tell you the exact project, just cause like, I don't, I don't know if it's like, confidential or not. But, what I dropped off in downtown was a suitcase full of like, almost 30, 30 iPads. And I was so nervous, drop, like, just like, transporting the iPads. Because like, 30 iPads, and if you sell one for $500 on Kijiji, or eBay, 30 times 500, how much is that? 30,000, that's $30,000 that I'm posing while I'm walking downtown. And if someone like attacked me, if someone jumped me, if someone held me, like just like punched me in the face, like how do I fight back? I am so skinny, like I'm so scrawny. Obviously like they're just gonna take the $30,000 and run away. So I was very slightly, like not slightly, I was very nervous, nervous about transporting that. I do not know, I do not know why they trusted the most scrawniest guy to like carry $30,000 $30, worth of iPads, but I mean pay for it, so I don't care. <laughs> what happens if I lost $30,000? Like, do you think they'll make me pay, like, make me pay the back? I'll tell you the nature of the project. I'm an independent contractor, so I'm not actually an employee. So, like, can they sue me if... I lost $30,000. Mm -mm -mm. Thankfully, I know someone who is a lawyer. And someone who's going to be a lawyer. So, I can use that to my benefit. I don't want to say their names though. It's not like they would help me. They would just laugh at me. They would pity me. They'll be like, oh, this is so expected of Merrick. He ends up in jail. He was caught screwing someone under 18. Like, why would I... Oh, obviously, I'm just kidding, you guys. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding right now. Um, sometimes I feel like I can't tell... Like, I feel like sometimes you guys can't tell the difference between when I'm joking and when I'm serious. I was joking about screwing someone under 18. I've never done that before. But what I was going to say is... Um, I wonder if I wound up in jail, what would I be in jail for? What would I be in jail for? I don't know, to be honest. I think, like, I'd be in jail for a crime that I got framed. That's the only way I would go to jail. Like, if someone, like, slipped some pot or, like, cocaine into my pocket, my back pocket, or, like, in my luggage, I didn't know, I got caught with, uh, with it, I would go to jail for possession. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so continue continuing on with my day. That's like a very bad segue. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm I'm eighty percent full now. I can finish these two. Okay, I think, but not the bread. Not the bread for sure. Hmm. Okay, so I dropped my parents off, went to downtown to drop the box of iPads worth $30,000. Ooh, and then I went to Dollarama, or the dollar store, or the 100 yen store, or the one pound store, or the one euro store. I do not know where you're watching from, but basically the very cheap store, where cheap people go like me. Um, 
I went to go get supplies for a video that I am posting soon. I'm not sure when this video is going to go up. Mm, but I don't, I don't want to give it away, but I just filmed a video before this. So I had to go prep for that video. Wow, my skin looks really nice under the lighting that I have. Okay. And then I filmed that video, ordered this, went to go pick it up, and now I'm filming the mukbang. I live on a like kind of a main road, not like a huge intersection, but like I sometimes see people walking by, even though it's like, what time is it? 10 p.m. at night. And people are just looking into my, um, into my house, and they're like, what the hell is that guy doing? Talking to a camera and eating food. Obviously, they've never seen a mukbang before. Is that how you pronounce it? Mukbang? I feel like that's like the white way of pronouncing it. I want to know the Korean way. Because like, I can probably pronounce it very, very precisely since I actually speak Chinese. And like, they're both Asian languages. I should say something in Chinese for you guys. What should I say in Chinese for you? Mm. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'll say I'm very full right now in um, Chinese or in Cantonese to be more specific because I'm Canto. So to say I'm really full right now in Cantonese, it's aho bao iga. That sounded pretty accurate. There's like no like cock Asian white CBC accent there. I'll repeat myself. Aho bao yiga. So that's um I'm very full right now in Kanto. Now you guys know. Alright, I'm done two out of my five topics. I'll just show you guys my topics, why not? First one was my day, did that one. Fifth one was USA election, done that one. So now I have Thanksgiving, Halloween, or other mukbangers. Let's do other mukbangers. So third question in this video. And surprise, I'm actually keeping track. First question, what's your favorite salad? Second question, are you voting for Trump or Clinton? Third question, do you watch any other mukbangers or eating shows? If so, who do you watch? I don't really watch them, but like, I kind of tune in sometimes. Um, like I don't watch, I don't watch, I don't watch for for a full thirty or forty or fifty minutes. I watch like five minutes just to see what they're eating. So some channels I know are is is are Ben Dean. Mm, ben Dean mm, is American, American Korean, Korean American. I'm not sure which way it goes. But he's Korean born in America, I think. And I think he's like mixed race, so Korean, half Korean, half white. And then he lives in Korea now. And he makes videos, um, mukbangs, eating shows. And then also on his channel, he talks about, um, he's adopted, I think. And he's like meeting his like family in Korea or something. I don't really follow like his personal life. Sorry, that's, that, that sounded really shady. I did not mean it that way. It's just like a fact. I don't follow his like personal life. But I do follow like other channels um, that focuses on like vlogs and personal life, like Trisha Paintes, Charles Gross, Jen Chapman, Joey Garcefa. And then the second major mukbanger watch is Kimmy. I'm sure everybody knows Kimmy on YouTube. Kimmy's so cute. I love Kimmy. Um, I think I, I watched one of her most recent mukbangs, and she wants to open like a restaurant one day in New York City or something. I may I may be making this up, but like I think that's one of her goals. Goals is to open up her very own restaurant, which is awesome. Um yeah, those are the two main like English mukbangers I watch. Some very big Korean mukbangers is Suji, Suki and Bans. So basically, they do mukbang, but only in Korean. And I don't speak Korean, so I don't watch them, but I just know of them. 
Ooh, Mommy Tang is our very big one as well. Mm -mm. Mm. Done. The pasta left, and then no more food. Oh, is that cute? People who do that annoy me so much. I'm like, stop, just stop. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's talk about Thanksgiving. Um, ooh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of doing a Thanksgiving mukbang. Thanksgiving in Canada actually just passed. Um, it was yesterday, October 10th. So right now I'm filming this on October 11th. Um, but I was thinking of doing a Thanksgiving mukbang, a Thanksgiving styled mukbang for uh, American Thanksgiving in November. Mm, I was talking to mm, one of my friends on the internet. Shout out to you, Emma. Uh, she was telling me how in USA there's no Remembrance Day. What? Like seriously? That was my initial reaction. I thought you. Um, I thought Remembrance Day was universal. I thought every country celebrated Remembrance Day, just like how every country celebrates New Year's. Um. Apparently that's like a Canadian thing. For those of you who don't know what Remembrance Day is, it's um, a national public holiday where you get paid. I, do you have to go to school and work? I don't know. I think you have to go to school. Anyways, it's just a public holiday to, remem uh, to remember uh, the fallen soldiers who fought for our freedom in World War One, World War Two, all the wars, all the wars. Um, uh, soldiers are serving in, in Afghanistan right now. Just a just a day to pay tribute. Um, it's um at eleven a.m. on November eleventh. So on the on the eleventh day of the eleventh month, on the eleventh hour, we do a moment of silence where people are just like quiet. Um, they take time to reflect on our freedom that um. Fallen soldiers have fought for. Wow, this video is getting really, really sad right now. <laughs> but yeah, I thought um, a lot more countries celebrate Remembrance Day, not just Canadians. I think probably, probably the UK or Britain celebrates Remembrance Remembrance Day. Ooh, okay, it's about to cut off. I need to like watch the time very carefully. Mm -mm -mm. Instead of it cutting it off, I think I should cut it off so I know where to like stop conversation with you guys. I'll do that right now. Okay, I'm back. So remember and stare. Yeah, I'm surprised that not more countries celebrate it. Oh, I know what I was going to say. I actually don't know the difference between the UK and Britain. And I think there's like another name for them. England. Like, like it's just like very confusing for me. For me, I use those terms interchangeably. I don't think you're supposed to. I'm sorry if like people are watching this from the UK or Britain or England. Um, I need someone to tell me the difference between these three countries, territories, areas. It's just very confusing for me. I really like eating. I really do. I should eat way more healthier than I do. Uh, sorry, I did not know where that came from. Let's talk about my last topic. Perfect timing. I'm almost done my meal and we have one more topic left. Halloween. Okay, ooh, I'm not going to lie. I'm getting a little bit tired and sleepy right now. Just a little bit sleepy. Um, Halloween. Which countries celebrate Halloween? So obviously, Canada, USA... Um, apparently a lot of countries don't celebrate Halloween. I just noticed I use the word apparently a lot. Mm, so, I don't know. Like, I feel like USA and Canada are the only countries that celebrate Halloween. 
I know like some people, some of my friends are hosting exchange students from Europe, and you're like. The Europeans were just like like so surprised that people would dress up even as adults to go trick or treating or to like go to parties and stuff. Um, Halloween. What am I doing for Halloween? Last year I gave out candy. I didn't dress up. I don't really dress up. Like it's kind of sad, but like I kind of grew out of Halloween ever since I entered university. I know that's like a pretty like long time to like or a pretty late time to grow out of Halloween. Most people stop trick or treating after grade six, after elementary school. But no, me and my friends, um, we just like went door to door when we were in high school, when we were like a junior and senior, um, just for fun. Just for fun, just to see if anybody would give us candy. It's more of like a social, ex not experiment, social experience. Just like hang out, dress up, go go for free candy. We obviously didn't do it for the candy because like we could buy our own candy, but like it was just like a fun activity to do on like a. Um, evening. Mm, from what I recall, I think 95% of the houses we went to gave us candy, so that's pretty awesome. To be honest, I did not expect any houses to reject us at all. I, I think we went to probably, let's say we went to like 50 houses and two houses did not give us candy. I was like, what the fuck, bitch? Like, hand that shit over, hand that crack over, or else I'm gonna break into your house and sleep with your hubby, girl. Um, but no. <laughs> I obviously didn't let it show my face, but like, after the door was shut on us, I was just like, bitch. Mm -mm -mm. I'm almost done my food, oh my god. What else can I talk about with Halloween? I just don't really celebrate it anymore. Like, it's too much effort to, like, either go... Like, it's too much effort to, like, go make a costume. Like, you have to buy supplies and stuff that costs money. It's too much... It's too expensive to buy a costume. Like, an adult costume... An adult costume is, like, $60, $75. Like, fuck no. Sorry. If you guys are new to my channel, um, I do swear a lot. So, get used to it, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean that like, meanly. I don't know what to say. I don't know. I don't know. Who, 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 I wonder who actually watched this far into the video. Mm. But yeah, it's like too expensive and it's not worth my time. Like honestly, it doesn't bring me any happiness. I always tell people it's hard for me to be happy in life. There are only two things that make me happy. Two things that make me happy. And not many people know, and I'm not gonna tell you, I'm sorry. It's just like too private for me, even like like I have a line, and like those two things are very private. Only like my closest friends know. Even though like you guys are always obviously my friends, but like, I don't know. I just wanna keep some things private. Not like, I don't wanna broadcast my entire life on the internet. But I don't mind broadcasting like 90% of it on the internet. But yeah, two things make me happy and unfortunately trick or treating and Halloween are not one of them. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, I'm gonna ask you guys one more question. What makes you happy in life? Oh, I want to ask two questions. What? I'll just combine it into one. Are you easily happy? Does that make sense? Do you easily get happy? Like, do you experience happy, happiness easily? Because I know some people, they can go to McDonald's and buy themselves, like, a, buy themselves a freaking McFlurry and they're happy just from that. I am not one of those people. Mm -mm -mm. And what makes you happy? What makes you happy? Mm. What a good note to end it on, right? Talking, talking about happiness. It's just hard for me to be happy. I don't know. Happiness, happiness is overrated. I don't give a shit about being happy. 
she's a sad person, she's a, she's a depressed person. Alrighty. So I'm not going to eat the bread because I'm really full and it doesn't even taste good. It's like peasant bread and like bougie bread. No, not for me. I am done the pasta, done the salad, and yeah. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching my mukbang. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button for new weekly videos. And I'm also going to link a playlist of all my other mukbangs on, this, on the screen right now. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, that was your daily dose of a hot mess. Bye, bitches.